I'm pretty sure that everyone has gotten an ad for the Octane VST, myself included. Now this video is sponsored by the guys over at Octane, but I've been wanting to test out this plugin for a while now, so my opinion will not be biased. This is all my 100% honest review. So if you enjoy this video, I ask that you please drop a like down below as it helps me out a lot, and subscribe for more future content. Now let's get in this video. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is their subscription-based sound library. Octane Plus costs $3.99 a month, and you get access to all of their sound packs with new releases every single week. So let's dive into some of those packs and see what we like. Now today I'll be doing something a little bit different and going through the sounds with you guys right now as I kind of forgot to do it earlier. Can you guys see it over here? A little bit. Got my new Scarlet interface right here where I can actually use my new headphones that I got. So that should help out with that. All right, so pressing this button right over here will take us over to the sound library. And if you did not have Octane Plus, this button would say, uh, you know, like $3.99 or $6.99, however much that that pack would cost. But because I have Octane Plus, I don't need to worry about that. I can just hit install on everything if I really wanted to. But what is pretty cool is that some of them actually have a preview available where it'll actually give you a full-on beat with it. A lot of build up for this one. Like that just sounds dope. Like immediately sounds like something you get from Halloween. Now, if you look at the top left of some of these packs, they will have the Octane Plus symbol. That means you must have Octane Plus in order to use them. You can't buy them. Yeah, okay, I downloaded this whole entire pack because I liked the, <laughs> I liked the preview, it was so good. Sounds like some Kyle stuff. I don't know, just me personally. But there is a bunch of other packs like this. The one that I like the most so far though is definitely gonna be the Trap Star one. This has the vibe that I normally try to go for in my music. So let's go over here inside of Trap Star, and uh, you can see a bunch of different 808 patterns right here. And that sounds really good too. Now, obviously, if you look over here, these have uh, some names from very popular songs. These are to try and emulate those, those 808s used in those songs, like uh, Gucci Gang right here, Humble, uh, Lucid Dreams, Moonlight, Mask Off, you know, just all these really iconic songs. Then you've got some more instrument-based stuff over here. Just gonna go through some of the presets right now. Nothing, I'm not gonna go completely in depth. What the? Oh, I'd be really good for anything like lo-fi or like uh, an Amine song. That would be so good for that. I actually really dig that. I'm gonna favorite that one. That'd also be, all these would be good for like an Amine type beat. That'd be perfect. Not that one. <laughs> Huh. I'm gonna start favoriting everything right now, dude. But also in different categories like lead, organ, pad, stuff like that. Do you want a nice like, guitar? And then once you favorite some like I have right now, you can go over here and they're all the ones that I favorited. All right, so that is some of the sound selection that you have over here, but let's go ahead and try to make a melody using this plugin. Let's go ahead and make a melody real quick. Oh, it crashed. That's interesting. What the hell? Huh, this is a very unique sound. We'll go and give this one a try. It's gonna be a nice little basis, but I think we can actually expand on that a little bit more. Mm, okay, better. God, I hate when I do that. No, stop. I like this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Building, building. I like this, oh my gosh. Now that we have our melody, let's go through all the features we have inside of this plugin. Starting off, we have the ability to have two sounds playing at the same time using the layers tab. By adding a second layer, we can come up with a lot of creative combinations and get a much fuller sound. So going over here to the layers tab, we can go over here and hit layer two, which this one actually has built in um, two layers already in it, right? We got the piano and then the choir, but there is a bunch of other stuff that you could use instead. So I like the choir and that's probably what we're gonna be ending up using, but let's try out some other stuff too though.
So you're like, that sounds good too. That is actually really nice. That is honestly, a lot of these combinations work out to make some very interesting sounds. There's so many combinations here that you can make as long as you actually have a good bass for your melody. So now that one, I would like to put it up an octave, which you can do that over here. Oh, this might only be, okay, so you can't go up an octave. That's unfortunate. Normally with a plugin that offers layering, I would expect there to be some sort of way to pitch up and down the samples. For example, I like the octave that the keys are in, but these uh, strings are way too low and I want them to be quite a bit higher. Unfortunately, it looks like there's no way that we can do that without altering both samples. So let's stick with the filtered pad for right now, okay? And uh, we can go through some of the things over here, like reverse, pretty self-explanatory, reverse of the signal. And then this section right below, it's going to be your full ADSR section. I don't really want to mess with that too much, but if you want like a stronger transient, you can definitely put that back on down. Or if you want to fade in a bit more, increase it. But I actually like where it's at right now. So I'm put that right back to where it was. Ring modulation, Let's see what that one does. It actually has a nice little like hum in the background, right? Now that I increase the frequency and decrease the depth. Start out the tremolo. Again, right now, this is only being affected to the uh, layer two, which is the filter pad, not the keys. Huh. All right, so there, it does not look like it's uh, BPM synced at all, so you have to do that on your own. Um, but yeah, it's there. And then arpeggiator. I used to love anything with arpeggiators. It was always just like a nice little, nice little feature for me. That actually sounds pretty good. So I think that the arpeggiator might work a little bit better with something a little bit more plucky, whether it be like a piano, just something that's not quite strings or a pad. All right, so now let's go on over to the EQ section where we have six bands to work with. Once again, you must hit active for each and every single one of them. Just to make sure you do that if you are using this section. So if something's a little bit muddy, you can go over here, hit active, and then try and EQ out some of that muddiness. But I think that I definitely like the uh, the low end in this beat for sure. So that's really cool. I'll, honestly, I won't really mess up with a whole lot of the EQ in this section. I think the high pass and the low pass over here would be pretty nice to work with. So let's move on over to the dynamic dynamics tab, which here we have an exciter, which is not really going to do much for me in this beat. All right, so here if you want a more compressed version, uh, this actually does a pretty good job of it. So here's it with it normal without the compressor. And then on. Finally, the expander. The expander might be pretty cool here. Let's go and check it out. Definitely does make it sound a lot wider. All right, but now going on to the final tab over here in the effects is the lo-fi tab, which we can go over here and turn on, and you can immediately hear that hissing noise, right? Now those are just some of the features that we have inside of this plugin. Now we can circle back onto the main page where we will find some more ways to manipulate our sound. Here we'll find our reverb, delay, filter, and even some distortion for those 808 presets that they have in some of these packs. I wanna mess with this reverb a little bit more. Then a trans gate. And then a filter, of course, over here at the cutoff and resonance.
filter is very nice. It works out pretty well. And I think paired with the lo-fi tab, you can make it sound very vintage, which is uh, really, really good, especially if you don't have a vintage plugin like RC20 or anything like that. And then also some more stereo imaging over here, which might be pretty cool. that a lot. That makes it sound way more stereo. All right, so now it's gonna be all the features that we use for this melody. I definitely wanna lay down some drums on here. to this for right now, just so I can add my 808s. So that is going to be all that I did inside of this plugin today. Now we can go in and see what we did and didn't like about it. In fact, they actually sent me a list of everything that they wanted feedback on, so I figured why not go through it with you guys. All right, so number one over here is how do you like the sound selection? Honestly, I think for how many packs that they have in here, it's kind of hard to not like the sound selection. There's so many different options that you have for any sort of vibe that you're trying to go for. What would you like to see more of? Okay, so the one thing I would like to see more of is uh, in addition to that feature that I was talking about earlier, the ability to pitch up one of those layers up or down an octave, even just one octave, that's all that I'm really asking for. What would you change? I think that's um, really what I was also explaining. So these two kind of go hand in hand right now. Do you like how it looks? Yes, this plugin does look very nice. I think it looks very professional. Was it easy to install? Incredibly easy. All I do is press one button and it installed. It was that easy. Was it affordable? Absolutely it was affordable. This plugin cost $10. You know, just don't, just don't go out for lunch one day and you can afford this plugin. Was it worth it? Yes, it's $10. I already said that. <laughs> would you recommend it? Yes, for the third time it's $10. I'm recommending it. Even if you don't like it, you will not be upset with losing $10. It's fine, you will live. All right, but that's going to be everything that I've got for you guys here today. So thank you guys so very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.